Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my entire collection of Minnie Mouse ears. I just got my Etsy order in the mail a few days ago, so I have some exciting new ears to share with you. And I'm also going to be doing a review and comparison in this video. I have some official Disney Parks ears as well as some Etsy ears. And I have one brand new pair of Walmart Minnie Mouse ears. You heard me right, Walmart now carries Minnie ears. If you follow me over on Instagram, you'll know I was absolutely shocked to find these at Walmart for $6.88. So we're going to be testing those out today. For $6.88, I normally would not expect a very high quality, but I don't know, they look pretty good. So I'm looking forward to trying those out on camera today and giving you my opinions and first impressions. So as I show you my collection today, I'm going to be rating each of the brands that we look at. And I'll give you my rating for three different categories. First, I'll rate the design, meaning how much I like the patterns and characters and colors and the way that the ears look, because that's the whole reason we buy mini ears in the first place. They gotta be cute, right? <laughs> then I'll also rate how comfortable they are. This is very, very important if you're someone like me who likes to wear your ears all day in the park. I also wanted to rate each of these brands on price meaning not necessarily how high or low the price is, but the quality of the item that you get for your money. So let's jump in and get started with the brand new ears that I just received from an Etsy shop. These are from Little Ears Boutique. I am so excited about these. So far, I've purchased three pairs of ears from Little Ears Boutique on Etsy. Not sponsored, but if someone from Little Ears happens to be watching me today and you want to send me some free merch or sponsor one of my videos, I accept. These are my absolute favorite ears. So the ones that I have on today, these are black and white, um, and all of these I'm going to be showing you are covered in sequins, so they're nice and sparkly. And I like to wear these black and white ears to Hollywood Studios because they feature autographs from all the classic Disney characters like Mickey and Donald and Goofy. If you watched our recent Disney vlogs from our February 2022 trip, um, you will know that I wore these to Hollywood Studios on that trip. And if you haven't seen our vlogs yet, I will link those below so you can check them out. Now I just purchased two other pairs of ears from Little Ears Boutique, and I'm just taking them out of the package right now. Okay, check these out. It's Wally and Eve with a little boot in the middle. I just can't get over these ears. Wally is such an underrepresented movie in all of Disney parks, merchandise, everything. We need more Wally and Eve at the Disney parks. But I just absolutely love the detail on these. I can tell that the designer really put a lot of work into making these absolutely perfect. They've got some really intricate designs that they have cut out and attached to these ears. And like, look at Wally's eyes. There's like one, two, three layers of glitter circles and then a rhinestone in the middle. That just shows me that this company really has an attention to detail and they really care about making quality merchandise that their customers can be proud of. I am so excited to wear these to the parks. I think that I would probably wear these to Epcot because Epcot has like a future world. So even though there's no Wally attractions that I know of at Disney World, I think these would go best for my Epcot day. Um, but let me know if you agree. And I just love the extra detail of the boot with the plant in the middle of the bow. That just, that just makes these ears for me. I love these. And then the other new pair that I got from Little Ears Boutique is these Space Mountain ones. What do you think? I don't know what I'm going to wear these with, but I had to have them. So on these, the ears are glitter, just like the other pairs that I showed you. But the bow in the middle is like this really shiny, um, I don't want to say plastic, but it's a shiny fabric, um, so it's not sequined like the others. Um, but I really like that. It makes it look more spacey. And it's got a nice little emblem of Space Mountain in the middle. I was really curious to see what the Space Mountain emblem was made of, the one that sits on top of the bow, because a lot of their ears have these little emblems in the middle. And I was wondering if they might be fragile or easy to break because they're very intricate designs that they put in the middle of these bows. Um, but I'm looking at this Space Mountain one right now, and it seems to be made out of a really thick um, felt. It's not flimsy though, it's not like the felt you would buy at the craft store. It's a very sturdy kind of felt. And I like that it has a little bit of give to it, because if you accidentally bump this against something or you shove it into your bag, I don't think it's going to break. So I was really happy to see that this is not as fragile as it was looking on the website. 
And then the other detail I want to point out on these is that there's a hidden Mickey in the purple rocket ship over on the left side of this pair of ears. There's a little hidden Mickey inside the rocket ship. So I'm very excited to wear these to Magic Kingdom. But like I said, they don't match any of the outfits I have. So I will have to do some thinking on that. <laughs> So I'm going to give Little Ears Boutique a five out of five star rating for the design. If you go on their Etsy shop, they have every character and attraction you could possibly imagine um, put on a pair of mini ears. So they are so creative and they're always coming out with new ears. Uh, and I love their sparkly designs. I'm also gonna give them a five out of five stars for how comfortable they are. I tried these ears out on an actual park day when we recently went to Hollywood Studios. I wore them all day and they are the most comfortable ears I've ever worn. Again, like I said, not sponsored yet, but these are honestly my favorite ears to wear um, on a full park day because I don't even feel them on my head. You put them on and they have those really flexible silicone teeth that keeps it in place, but it doesn't hurt your head. It doesn't scratch. It doesn't pinch you behind the ears. I wore these all day and had no problems. So I think their uh, $26 to $28 price point is a really great value. It almost feels like you're getting a custom order because the ears are so detailed and you can find whatever niche character or attraction um, that you're looking for. Their ears are about the same price as the Disney Parks ears at the moment. And I think you get a higher level of creativity with the Little Ears Boutique. So for Little Ears Boutique, that would be a five out of five stars. Next up are my official Disney Parks ears. And you've seen all but one of these in the vlog. There's one I haven't shared with you yet. So of course I have the classic Minnie Mouse red polka dot ears. These are soft and fluffy and they've got the plush bow in the middle. And I wore these to Magic Kingdom on our most recent trip. Then I also have the sequin version of the Minnie Mouse ears. These are black sequin ears with a red bow in the middle, and I wore these to Animal Kingdom on our last trip. Then these are my favorite pair of Disney Parks ears. These are for Epcot. You can see that they have the Spaceship Earth design on the plush ears. And then the bow in the middle is pink and blue and light pink sequins, just like the bubblegum wall at Epcot. If you don't know what the bubblegum wall is, it is probably the number one Instagram spot at Disney World. Just go on Instagram and search hashtag bubblegum wall and you'll see tons and tons of pictures of what I'm talking about. So the ears I have not shown you before are these Halloween ones. Um, if you know me, you know that Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. I love dressing up in costumes and carving pumpkins. Well, I don't carve pumpkins. Billy carves the pumpkins and I watch. But I love to decorate the house for Halloween and do all kinds of fall activities. I actually wore these ears to a Halloween party this past year. These are black sequin ears with a candy corn witch hat. And if you look really close, you'll see that the little tiny bow on the witch's hat is actually a piece of candy. And I think these are awesome, especially because I got them on a super, super sale price at the Disney Character Warehouse, which is their outlet store. I actually just did a shop with me video at the Sawgrass Mills Outlet Mall, and we shopped all kinds of Disney stuff at a discount. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely head over to my channel after you're finished watching this video and check out my shop with me video. So now to rate the Disney Parks ears for design, I'm going to give them a four out of five. The reason I'm not giving them five stars is because they just don't have the variety of a lot of shops that you'll find on Etsy. These individual shop owners that have their own small businesses, they are so creative. You can go on Etsy and search for pretty much any Disney character or topic or attraction, and you'll find the perfect design that suits your tastes and your interests. But I've noticed that they're really limiting the number of Disney Parks ears that you're able to buy online at Shop Disney. And when I was walking around the parks recently in the shops, I didn't really see any official Disney Parks ears that really jumped out at me. I just really prefer the designs um, that come from individuals on Etsy. So four out of five for design. And then I'm going to give these a three out of five for comfort level. The Disney Parks ears seem to be a little inconsistent as far as how the band feels on my head. And depending on the pair that I'm wearing, it can kind of pinch my head behind my ears that makes them uncomfortable to wear. Some do and some don't. I don't know if it's a manufacturing issue, but I notice I but I do notice a difference even among the Disney Parks ears. So I'm going to say 3 out of 5 for comfort. 
Then for the price, I'm going to give the Disney Parks ears a four out of five stars. They are raising the prices on ears just like everything else. I just looked at Shop Disney and the ears are up to almost $30 now. Um, I think they may be a couple of dollars cheaper in the parks, but online at Shop Disney, there's a lot listed for $29.99. And I just don't think it's worth that given the variety that you can find on Etsy for a slightly lower price. Okay, so the last pair of mini ears in my collection are these ones from Walmart. I have not taken them out of the package yet. We are gonna cut these open and take a look at them right on camera for the first time. Like I said, these were $6.88 from Walmart, so I'm not expecting very high quality from these, but I don't know, looking at them, I'm holding out hope that these might be my new go-to Animal Kingdom ears. They look pretty good to me. I'm just opening this package here and I don't know why they felt the need to put so many zip ties on their packaging. I guess they don't want anybody to steal their 688 ears. <laughs> um, but even the official Disney Parks ones just have a little tag at the top. Um, so these ones definitely have some excessive packaging. Okay, here they are. They are black sequin ears with a leopard print bow in the middle. The first thing I'm noticing is that the sequins are only on the front side of the ears but not on the back. The back is just plain fabric, so that is one way that they cut costs. But I'm fine with that because I'm only taking pictures of myself from the front. <laughs> so I'm holding these up to compare them to some of my other ears, and I'm noticing that the, the actual ear circles on these Walmart ones are quite a bit bigger than the ones I bought from Etsy. Um, so that really surprises me. I guess the ones from Little Ears Boutique are actually a little bit smaller, um, I didn't notice that though, they're still my favorite. These Walmart ones are about the same size as the official Disney Parks ones, but they do stick out just a little bit more on the sides. The leopard print bow in the middle is definitely very good quality. It's got sequins on both sides of the bow. It is, um, it's thick and plush. And the headband itself is wrapped with a really silky fabric. So I'm hoping that will make these very comfortable. Okay, now I see why they're 688. You guys probably can't tell on camera. I'll try to get close. So No, you're not going to be able to see. Well, maybe a little bit. Um, so I put the headband on and there's like a lot of space up here between the headband and my head. Like it's not shaped for an actual head. Um, it's sitting right here behind my ears. The bottom of the headband is touching behind my ears, but like I can't push it down enough for it to be touching my head on the top. Does that make sense? Um, and if I try to push it down so that it is touching the top of my head, it kinda, it kinda leans back a little bit. So there's really not a great way to wear these. Okay, so let me see how I would rate these. For design, they don't have a lot of variety in their designs. I think there was like four or five choices in the store. And most of them seem to be just copying things that uh, the Disney parks have done. So they're not really coming out with any original ideas. They're just trying to make a cheaper copy. For comfort, I can't really give a comprehensive review because I haven't worn these for a whole entire day. This is my first time trying them on. But just first impressions, I think these would probably be a three out of five. It just feels strange on my head because the fit is not quite right. And I feel like if I wore these for several hours, it might start to pinch behind my ears. Um, I don't know for sure, but those are my first thoughts on comfort. And then for the price, I think I'm gonna go with three out of three for that as well. Even though th this is the lowest price you're gonna find anywhere on a real pair of Disney branded mini ears, but you get what you pay for. So although it's a great price, you're not getting a great quality. They're definitely a good price. If you maybe just wanted to take some photos, like do a little photo shoot, um, this would be a good way to stock up on several different pairs of ears um, for that purpose. But I don't think these would be my choice for wearing all day in the parks. I might wear them for some videos though, because it takes me just about half an hour to sit down and film something. And uh, you can't tell on camera that they don't fit right. So I think I might hang on to these and just use them for filming. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my mini ears collection. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite place to buy mini ears. Is it at the Disney parks? Is it an Etsy shop? Is there a place that I didn't mention? Um, if there is, please let me know. I would love to try it out. 
If you liked this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.